Hi everyone. Since you will learn how to make your button act as a link in HTML. In layman's term, it simply means when you click on a button, it will take you to a certain web page. As you can see, I got two buttons here. The first one is Google and the second one is Codebase. So basically, when I will click on this Google button, it will take me to google.com. When I will click on this Codebase, it will take me to Codebase YouTube channel, which is my channel. So let's click on this button. So we are on google.com. Go back, click again, and now we are on Codebase YouTube channel. Let's go back. So this is what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm using VS Code as my code editor. Let's get index file here. Index.html. Let's have a basic HTML structure. Add a link to the style sheet which is style.css you need one div element here also two buttons let's make it google just copy and paste it make it code base add a class to each button because this will have a color of green and this will have a color of kind of a blue so let's add a class here btn1 this will be btn2 save it now let's create a style sheet here style.css select the div element display will be flex justify content will be center gap will be 20 pixels select button element border will be none Border radius will be 20 pixels. Padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. Color will be white. Font weight will be bold. Cursor will be pointer. Now let's select the BTN1 class. Give it a background color of green. Also select the BTN2. Give it a background color of dark slate blue. Save it. Let's open this file in the browser to see the output. And there's the output. Now when I will click on these buttons, nothing will happen. So let's go to HTML file and add some code to it. Now to take a user to a particular website, when you click on a button, we need to use one click attribute. In this attribute, we'll use a bit of a JavaScript code. So let's do this. On click. Here we'll use window.location.href property and set it equal to this link https dot google.com. Make sure you are using double quotes here and single quote here. Same logic goes here, just copy and paste it. And here I'll make it YouTube. Just delete this. So it will be youtube.com at code base channel. So this will take me to google.com and this will take me to code base YouTube channel. Just save it. Now let's go to browser. Click on this. So google.com. Click on this. And I'm on Codebase YouTube channel. You can also shorten this. You can simply remove this part, window dot, because browser will automatically figure out that location is a property in the window object. Also, you can have this code in a separate JavaScript file if you want to, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm using it here. But generally, it is recommended to create a separate JavaScript file and use this code. I think I already created a video around this. So link of that video will be in the description. Please do check it out. Now it's time to test this code to see if it is working or not. Because now we are no longer using window object here. Now let's see if browser can figure it out. Click on it. So it is working without any issue. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.